Hey everybody, on this week's Tech Tuesday, we're going to be going over how to use the VCM scanner to find out which cylinder your misfire is on. So one day you're going to be tuning a car and inevitably it's going to have misfires. Doesn't matter if it's a Ford, GM or Dodge, it's going to happen. When it does happen, you got to figure out which cylinder the misfire is on before you can really move forward or which cylinders in some cases. So what you could do is you could go around the car, you could touch each of the primaries to figure out which one's cold. However, I can't recommend you touch the headers on an engine because they're probably going to burn you. Now you could also use an infrared gun and you could see what the temperatures are like and see if there's a temperature drop between a primary versus another one. But you could skip all of that and do something much easier, which is just use the HP tuner scanner because it actually has misfire counters that will figure out which cylinder is on for you. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that inside the scanner using our 2006 shop vet. So I've got the scanner hooked up to our 2006 Corvette. You can see it says that up here at the top. And what I'm going to do now that I'm hooked up is I'm actually going to select the misfire channels we need to get the data off this car. So to do that, we're going to right click inside of our channels list and we're going to select add channel. Now at this point I'm going to use the text filter option at the top of the window up here because that'll help. it's kind of like a search feature and it'll help me narrow down exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and type in miss for miss filter or misfire, excuse me, not miss filter. But uh, you see now we have misfires current and history for cylinders one through eight. Now current is going to show me the misfires that are currently happening on the engine, which is good when I'm in this type of an environment. Misfire history is helpful if I had to like drive the car around or actually use a broad span of data, then I can use history because it'll show me all the misfires that have occurred since the car has been running. So for what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to select current, but you evaluate at home whether you need current or history. So we're going to double click on each of these. So we're going to start with cylinder one, go on to cylinder two, and you see they show up blue once they've been added in the channels list. Cylinder three, cylinder four, cylinder five, six, seven, and eight. So at this point, I've got the misfire channels that I need to actually see if this car is misfiring and on which cylinder it's misfiring on. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and close the channel selector pop-up box. And we're going to start recording the vehicle. And I'm going to go ahead and start it up and see which cylinder we actually have a misfire on. And it looks like you can already see we've got eight misfires on cylinder one. And that one seems to be misfiring pretty consistently. So you see that number's going up and up and up. The other ones are getting some misfires also, but that's a result of this large camshaft. So you kind of have to be aware of that as you're watching this stuff. You're trying to find the cylinder that's going to have the most misfires, something that stands out from the other ones. And that one getting up to like eight or nine is definitely standing out. So if you're doing this and you're watching the current misfires and you're unsure if these current misfires are actually accurate or not, another option for you is to use the history because it's going to pile up the data, so to speak. So what we can actually do is we can right click inside of here, stop scanning first, right click inside of here, go to add channel, and we can add all the history misfires as well, and that will help us immensely. So we're going to add one, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight and you see we've got now the history recording here so I can actually start it up and now it just gives you a better view of like which cylinders are actually standing out to you the most as actually having misfires So we've been recording for about a minute and 20 seconds, which you can see down here the time for the duration. And you'll notice on cylinder one, for the history, I have 137 misfires. That means we've misfired 137 times on that particular cylinder, and you notice that stands out way apart from the rest of them. The next closest cylinder is cylinder two at 67. So I can say probably pretty safely without a doubt that cylinder one is where our misfires are occurring. So now that we figured out exactly which cylinder that misfire is occurring on. We can go ahead and get out of the car, 
come to the engine and we're going to start replacing things like coils, plugs, plug wires. It could even be an injector. But basically now we know we can focus on just cylinder one to actually find that misfire so it stops robbing our horsepower. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you're interested in getting more high performance tuning knowledge, make sure that you check out our website and our social media pages. And as always, stay tuned.